Hello, today we'll take a quick look at a Solar Casio watch. The model that we're looking at today is a WS220C. And let's open this up. Do you get a limited warranty paper on the side? Underneath the watch stand tray, you have a user guide. A note about what to do when the watch stops working normally. And another warranty card. So the watch display is really dim. I tried hitting the light button and it didn't really help. The light button does work and it's very readable in the dark. However, when you're out in a brighter environment, the watch is just not very readable at most angles. It just immediately fails my readability test. The watch strap is very white and the material is resin according to the Casio website. The strap doesn't have Casio label anywhere though. Anyways, here's what the back of the watch looks like. And here's the side view if you're still interested. The watch is at about 5 centimeters in diameter and it weighs about 47 grams. If the screen is readable, the watch displays the current time, date, week of the day, and basically everything you need to know about time. It also has some feature from the Tough Solar line where it displays the battery status in high, medium, and low. The default comes in medium for me. Then there is the power saving mode, which the screen will turn off completely when the watch is not exposed to any light source for a period of time. It will automatically turn on if it detects light or if you press the button. So to adjust the time, you need to hold adjust button for a few seconds until you hear a beep. Press start and stop button to change your value. You can change the city here. And press mode to move to the next location. You have the option to turn on and off daylight saving. Then the next is just standard date and time settings. Here you can choose to mute or keep the beep sound. Then there's the light on option for 1 or 3 seconds. And finally you can choose to turn off the power saving mode if you want to keep the screen always on. And now if you're happy with everything, you just need to press the adjust button again to exit the edit mode. I guess we can quickly walk through the modes. You have a stopwatch mode. You just hit start and stop button to record the time. And hit lap button to clear. Then the record is saved in the recall mode. You can hit start to look at an entry in detail. Or press and hold the start and lap buttons at the same time to clear an entry. Next, you have the countdown timer. Following that, you have the wartime mode. It has a pretty good list of cities. Moving on. In the alarm mode, you can save 5 alarms, configure snooze, and the hourly beep. And finally, here's the timekeeping mode that tells you everything you need to know about the time, as we've seen from earlier. And I think that pretty much covers all the features for this watch. Lots of cool features, but it's kinda pointless if I can't read it. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.